I'm gonna just sure. stick this here. So this right. guy, you guys missed the induction part, but you'll see it for the next one. So he was given an injectable anesthetic into a vein, which allowed him to fall asleep so that we could put a tube in there. So he has a tube now going down into his lungs that's providing him with oxygen as well as a gas anesthetic. So when he breathes in and out, that gas anesthetic is keeping him asleep. Is this in the Yes. Okay, so he is a male dog. Or you can go closer. Oh, and we're all, are we all girls this round? We're all girls. That's good. So I'll have nobody bending over in sympathy. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you can't touch anything blue or green. The last group felt, felt this more, a little more because there were some boys. So why, why do we neuter or spay our pets? They can't breathe them. Yeah. And what about a, uh, a male dog? What are the other reasons other than that he's not going to be able to make puppies? All right. Do you know any other reasons? Okay. Sorry? I heard something. <laughs> This is a male. It's We're going to do a girl next. So yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. So um, for males, first of all, what do they like to do when they know that there's a, a girl in heat down the road? Oh, run. run and run and run, right? So they often get hit by cars and get into trouble that they shouldn't be in. <laughs> they might fight. But there's also health reasons, right? So if we take away his testicles, he's never going to get testicular cancer, right? So that's done. There's also a male. You guys have all had grade 11 biology? You know where the, the prostate is? Mm -hmm. It sits right under a boy's, a man's bladder. And so the hormones uh, affect that. So if we can remove his hormones, he's going to have less prostate problems. And intact male dogs, as they get older, they are predisposed or they have an increased risk of having tumors that form around their bum. So we're doing all those good health things as well by taking away his testicles. Just not a population issue. Okay, so, you know, they usually sit here in their scrotum. So I'm going to pop one up here and remove it. ripping it right out, but you just sort of have to loosen it off its connection there. The dog cannot feel it. He is not at all. He is nicely asleep. And he's had some very nice pain medication as well and some sedation before and he will get more pain medication as to go home with. So he will actually be quite comfortable. Yes. Oh, sure. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Tell me if you're not feeling well. If you need yes. Yeah. If you're feeling faint, just, just sit do down because we time. can't catch yeah. you. And I wouldn't want you to follow my sterile field. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> is he breathing? He's yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. He's actually he breathing. Be. His body is still telling him when to breathe. Okay? His chest is moving. Yeah. Yep. And he's doing all that by himself. And if, if he forgets, we can do that for him. But at this point, he's doing it by himself. And every breath he takes, he's getting some oxygen and some anesthetic. Is that what that is? This one, yeah, this one measures his, every time he breathes, it'll be. So that just lets us know that he's taking All right. Yeah. yeah. And if it doesn't breathe within 20 or 30 seconds, you'll yeah. hear a little bell go off. There's no embarrassment about feeling queasy. Chris out there, who induced this dog, she used to faint at the sight of blood. So there's, there's no, uh, it doesn't mean that you can never have a job in the field or anything like that. All right, so there it is, all tied off there. And this little stump's gonna go back in and we just hold it, make sure it's not bleeding. It's gonna go back in and we'll do the other side. Obviously, can breathe. Um, she, he's over a year. We don't make that uh, kind of whenever they years. want. Male dogs tend to go have a heat cycle twice a year, so it tends to be spring and fall, but not always. 
And cats are what they call seasonally polyesterous. So seasonally meaning when the, in the summer, spring and summer when the days are long. Poly meaning many and estrous. So they go into many, many heat cycles over and over again. So that's why, you know, uh, stray cats are so prolific. They have a litter cycle again, have a litter cycle again. And that's what, where the overpopulation problem exists. <laughs> Like These I are guess. all dissolvable. Yes. Yeah. So he will have no stitches on the outside, and that will he'll be less uh, irritating to him. Now he's actually bleeding a little more than the other guy. This still isn't you know a, a lot of blood, but he's a big dog and he's a mature dog, so he's got lo a little more blood supply going to that area. So he's losing a little bit more. Yeah, how much? He's pretty big, eh? How much is all right, so he is neutered now. We just have to put him back together. <laughs> you guys have any questions? No? So some of your classmates were saying that you got to dissect a fetal pig. Yeah. yeah. And did you like that? <laughs> where? Uh, what did? You, did you find reproductive organs? Yeah. No, I don't want to be and where did anybody get a male? Krista, we got a male, right? No. No. So you don't like this shirt? No. Oh, I thought we. Were. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on out. You don't have to be in here. No, I'm okay. You sure? Yeah. So I think, I, oh, they're not quite inducing. We're doing a female next, which is a whole different thing. So now, just like with us, right, we have to go into their abdomen and find their ovaries and their uterus. So it's a more invasive surgery. This little, you know, this little piece is not, we haven't really entered his abdomen yet. That's right, yeah. These are all dissolvable <coughs> stitches, and the dog's blood, the white cells in their blood, will come and over the next month dissolve all these stitches. So they'll heal the two sides together that have been cut, and then the white cells will come and eat up all the suture material, and then he'll be all back to normal. So he went 20 seconds without taking a breath, so that gives us a little a little signal. That's not like a catastrophic emergency yet. No. <laughs> That's just giving us a little, uh oh, he's holding his breath a little bit. So just take a look and see what we need to do. Yeah, all I did, uh, I cupped under his rib cage. I'm going to be inducing the next one, our last spay surgery. If anybody wants to see what goes on before they actually come to the surgery, you're welcome to watch. Yeah, we don't have a lot of time, so unfortunately the time is gone by. Yes. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 